G'day folks, now it's one of them afternoons again, uh, it's raining at the moment, cold, and uh, yes, it's time to ramble on about something, anything. Actually I got some fan mail today, so we'll look at that too, but yeah, everything's been pretty good, I'm busy with work, uh, yeah, it's going pretty well actually, lots of different projects and things to get into, I'm going to rearrange this and put that 20 inch monitor on the wall beneath that one there, which is the security monitor. Um, and speaking of security stuff, I've got some cool security stuff to sort through. Oh, a little bit of everything actually. This is uh, from one of my subscribers, John, up in Sydney. I'll post a link to your YouTube channel. Uh, he's an electrical engineer and sent me a lovely letter and a description of everything that has been included, which is a lot more than I was expecting. But then, if you're into electrical like I am, you probably have a shelf full of bits and pieces like I do. And, uh, yeah, this is really good stuff. Sort of a thank you present for all the videos that I've been doing, and it's greatly appreciated. Um, I did open this up at work today. I, uh, yeah, I cheated. I have opened it and unpacked it before, but, yeah, this is PC to TV, Digitech video box. That's kind of cool. Um, it's got some control buttons on there as well. I wonder if it's for uh, a camera station or something. There might be a motorised surveillance camera station where you can pan the camera by remote. Don't know, I'll have to look into that one. I'll Google it and look it up. Um, big, big item is a dead ABB two horsepower three, single to three phase VFD, which is very similar to the one uh, I think I put it away, but very similar to the well, same capacity as the Tico one that I've got. But this one's by ABB, ASEA, Brown and Bravari. Um, doesn't say where it's made, but I think they're all made in China now anyway, but that's irrelevant. ABB generally don't put their name on rubbish. This one's dead short, so chances are it's probably had a surge or a serious failure of an electric motor that might have taken it out. Uh, that's quite quite common. That's why I won't do a uh, motor kill video with my VFD. It's usually fatal if you short them out. Uh, that's one thing I was warned from the start. Do not short it out doing anything silly. Just run good healthy motors and it's fine, but being a semiconductor based speed controller, yes, short circuits are fatal to them, so just keep that in mind if you get one. Um, yeah, it's been opened before by the looks of it, but I'll uh, open it up tonight and just see if it's not something simple like metal oxide varistas that have gone short from a surge or something like that. Uh, but I'm guessing they would have checked that when they had it open to begin with. So that's a really cool donation. It'll make a good autopsy if nothing else. <laughs> but yeah, there's all sorts of other things. We've got power sockets. They look like they clamp onto our normal... Uh, TPS flex cable. It's kind of cool. The TPS clamp on, yeah. Clipsal 413 series, QC series. Yeah, they lock together. Yeah, they're in line. They're an inline power outlet. They must snap onto the TPS itself or something. There'll be a description for them in here. There's three of them. We've got some uh, press to exit. That's a uh, door button. Yep. Door button with an LED. So it's like a release for a magnetic lock. That's something I wouldn't mind from my front gate, a magnetic latch. <laughs> I worked in a few buildings doing renovation work with my dad and yeah, they have these magnetic latches on the big glass doors, the, like the personnel entry doors. And yeah, if you get locked out, there's no way you're getting that door open again. The really strong magnetic latches. It's a neato camera mount. That's really cool. Suction cup camera mount with lever lock. Quick, quick release camera mount. Good for cars and things like that. You can stick it on the windscreen and angle the camera. Uh, blue strobe light. <laughs> That's awesome. 9 to 15 volts DC, so I can run it on pretty much anything. I think I've got 
I do. I've got a, um, a bigger blue blue strobe light, like the ones you see on the outside of buildings on the security box, the big fat ones. But that's kind of neat. It's a nice compact one. No, it's not blue. It's red. Oh, that's good. I've got both colours now. Looks like LEDs as well. It's not a Xenon flash. Uh, the other one I've got Xenon flash and it's bright blue, so that's really neat. <laughs> it's not blue, it's red. Red and blue. Red versus blue. Whatever that reference was. <laughs> it's a cable lock for a PC. Good to stop stuff people from running away from with stuff. Uh, this was the other thing you, that he mentioned. He said he was donating a VFD and a couple of these. We've got Bosch PIRs. Brand new. So that'll be handy. I'll, good for turning lights and things like that on. And I did figure out these are 12 volt. I don't know why I had 5 volts in my head at the time, but they work fine on 12 volts. They're just really old and manky. So now that I've got brand new ones thrown in, I might as well just shelve them for a random project and use these uh, Bosch ones. There was two of them. Was there two of them or was only one of them? Okay, there's only one of them. Where is there? No, no I, mean, I guess there's only one of them. That's all right. I thought he said he had two, but I guess not. Momentary push button. Uh, probably normally closed. Yeah, they are. Stop button's normally closed. Relay from an air conditioner or something like that, 24 volts with its mounting base. Mounting bases alone are good good to keep. Because um, you can just pull, unplug the relay. If the relay goes faulty, you just unplug it and plug a new one in. You're not worrying about soldering wires onto pins or anything like that. Super super bright LED on a heat sink from an exit sign or something. I'm guessing it's a bright green LED. Uh, I'll have to put power to that. I don't know what voltage it would be, but... I think it says it on the... Yeah. yeah, red LED strobe light for 12 volts. LED with heatsink, unsure on voltage. It came out of an exit light, so I'd start with 5 volts and see what it does. Uh, generic switch mode adapter, 12 volts, 400 MA. So, light duty 12 volt operation, like maybe triggering or running that strobe light or something. I always keep plug packs and things like that. I had a rat around at the scrapyard uh, yesterday and scored these laptop power bricks, so I should be able to run that Acer Gaming or Asus Gaming notebook now. I think one of them's 19 volt. Male and female plug sets, clipsal for power leads. That's great, I can make up more leads. I've actually been meaning to buy a few of these. It's just handy to have it when you get an appliance where they've cut the plug end off or something like that. You can wire a new plug end onto it. Instead of having to open the cabinet up and replace the whole damn lead. Um, DIN type mounting enclosure. You can snap your circuit breakers in there. DIN rail mount. And that is a multi-tone, multi-trigger alarm siren. Or just a piezo type screamer siren type thing. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 9 to 18 volts DC for non-fire use, not non-fire alarm. Um, got VDC and low tone and high tone, so it's all printed on it. That's cool. We have to set that up somewhere. Also got the buzzer out of the dead ADM machine at work, so I'll um, be able to use that for something as well. So yeah, that's that one. That's really cool. It's greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, we'll have a look at this VFD tonight in a separate video. Assuming this one doesn't take all night to upload, then you'll probably see it tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to go through some of this with Brad when he comes down, some auto lick wire. Uh, this is just stuff I bought as surplus and scrap. Various gauges. This stuff's good, it's 5 metres of 50 millimetre square. It's a jumper cable, a super battery lead cable. $44 for all of that and all of that. Can't beat that. Sorry, $54. I grabbed another roll of these uh, battery leads. It all came from a uh, AV and computer specialist. I'm guessing this was UPS battery leads for big UPS units. Uh, they're in lead sets. That stuff there is just surplus cable. Really nice stuff. So I'll go through that stuff with Brad when he comes down. He can have a 
like a roll of fine core whatever that is that's like a four millimeter cable or something like that it's got nice fine cores in it so it's easy to manipulate uh, there's a 30 30 60 meter you've already got some of that I'm not parting with that because it's all I've got blue blues blue lots of black uh, 2.5 millimeter black I think that's like a four or five millimeter and uh, it's more 2.5 red solar panel solar electric cable like electrical panels on your rooftop uh, same with that one there that's PVC and polypropylene or polyethylene shielded so it's like the outdoor cable that screws into each panel high voltage uh, six millimeter core and that stuff there's a figure eight of like a four three or four millimeter core and that's all for that I, I got this oh, about a year ago I got a number of rolls of this stuff it's all for a solar inverter hook up on houses pretty good stuff so yeah the surplus lead sets oh it's great stuff especially when you buy it by the kilo I think you'd pay about I don't know a hundred dollars for that roll at the automotive shop but I paid a hundred dollars for the whole lot so yeah keep an eye on your local surplus and scrap yards your machinery dealers things like that liquidators that's always good because you buy cables and things real cheap even if you've got to buy the whole bundle it's usually easy just to flog some off to your mates I mean none of this is for sale officially but might be able to wrangle a deal with some of my closest friends but I'm not actually going to become the cable guy <laughs> ain't no cable guy anyway just thought you'd I'd like to see my some of my new cable stock as well uh, again thanks to uh, who made up in Sydney I'll post a link in the description to your channel and find something to do with this stuff which is really cool I can definitely use them soon and definitely be setting up some more uh, PIR stuff and that sort of thing yeah greatly appreciated thank you very much and stay tuned for a lot more